we were talking about Just how uh, the vampire teeth work, and I was saying how mine there mine came with two small ones and, and big ones, and the small ones fit me perfectly. But Brian says I look like a little kid vampire, and the big ones look huge. They look like orc teeth, and so you put them in the bottom. I was like, oh, that actually looks really good. That's a good idea for orc if I ever do an orc again. Because they, they are really nice. They kind of just clip on and you can remold them whenever their molding is weird. Yeah, there's like a solid plastic mix thing I got with mine that you kind of spread onto the inside of the tooth and then hold yeah. it in so it gets the shape of your tooth. And I did it right with one of them and wrong with the other. And I can now just put this in, no sticking stuff or anything, and it holds there forever. This one, however, moves around and I have to kind of put it in there and redo the stuff eventually but yeah, yeah it's not hard though it's like good. the you basically just plop the capsule open pour it into some surface put a couple mm. drops in like three or four drops mix it together and then put stuff into the tooth and then you just hold it there for a little bit and then you, mm. it does take a little bit to take it off though yeah, the first time I was like, am I going to pull my tooth out? Yeah, oh, Brian's okay. like, oh, God, are we going to have to take you to the dentist? Because I was like, I don't know, it's not coming up. <laughs> but yeah, so you're going to be a recurring guest from now on. I don't know, like, who's, who's going to be next week? Because next week there's going to be a guest, right? Um, Let me look. And this is the first, this is maybe the only time where it's both yes. of you guesting at the same time. This is both this of us guesting at the at the same time. There is another time where we're both guesting. Um, next week is going to be Work. one of us, and a few weeks later is going to be one of us. And then the 13th, I think, is two of us again, uh, the 13th of October. Yeah. Turns out people have lives, and sometimes they can't come oh, to RPG shows. Put it this way, stuff. we looked at the episodes, and it's basically half the episodes one of us will be on. So... <laughs> Like, we're, we're actually, like, pretty much main characters, almost, in the sense. We're, like, sub-characters. <laughs> the way he built our, or he, the way he uh, integrated our characters is um, pretty interesting, so. Yeah, I want to see how this works. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> I always feel bad, like, when people raid and then you're like, defeat the raiders, but, like, you don't really want to. You want to welcome them. <laughs> well, that's why afterwards you then you then make it up to them. You you forcibly apply healing or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's Lauren's strategy of like stab injure them with the pens, raiders, them injure with the cannon, raiders, injure the raiders, and now and now fire uh, plasters at them. Oh yeah, now now you can heal them. Now that now that their their morale is down. <laughs> they have been defeated. Now they can be. In the, into the stream. It's like RimWorld. You, you like take them hostage and then you make friends with them and then they join So the basically, uh, what is it called? Um, uh, Stockholm Syndrome? Yeah, Stockholm Syndrome them. That's pretty terrible. <laughs> Re I regret coming up with this analogy now. <laughs> I don't know why we're doing a, a rip emote. That's kind of scary. Are we dying? I'm probably mm. dying. We're all dying. <laughs> We're all dying. Uh, VTM. Damn it, it's, it's more existential horror. Josh I had this in my stream Maggie. yesterday. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you guys are seeing like my other stuff popping up. <laughs> I have snifflies. No. Oh. But they're less bad than they were before, at least. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I was like, I mean, I was so dead that I wasn't even doing my work, you know. <laughs> There's a theme going on, like me with space. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I can see that. my monitors in the thing. Yeah, your crazy six monitor setup. <laughs> I need props. What do I have? <laughs> I need what props. Where, what do I have? Do you have a beard I nearby? Have, I feel like I that. Have, oh, that's yeah, always nearby. I have. I have a beard here. Uh, there we go. I have a beard too, but it's inside of that couch. So I, I have the the ultimate. Who's the, your beard? Prop of all props. I have Yorick. <laughs> 
I knew him well. And that's like it. Hmm. I have, a, I have a pipe. Oh, nice. Oh, the pipe is good. I, I need a pipe. I can point at <laughs> things with it. Oh, man. I want one of those, like, those long, mm -hmm. you know those long cigarette things? Because I feel like that, oh, that would be good. Holders. Yeah, that would be like a good one the for my character. My today's <laughs> character. That would suit you really well. Yeah, I'm going to send you the thing that I think would be fun for us to do as you, um, as we meet each other. Oh, at the, our greeting? Yeah. We just like do it in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Josh is like, dude, someone made all the VTM characters in Sims. Oh, I saw that I on saw that. Twitter. That was so cool. I tweeted it because I was like, oh, that's pretty sweet. Got eaten by Dakota, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I made vampires. Oh, and Josh has been killed. It happens. <laughs> and at least it gives me a reason to rise from the dead. Wait, why is Josh become... in there being killed? That's the, that's the first reply of like uh, Dakota got hungry. Got ideas of her own and managed to feed off gaming FTL Sims avatar. So this is totally oh. wrong. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! She just made you as like average, average, average Josh. Oh no, <laughs> Josh. Oh no. Is Josh like the evil alter ego? Okay, that sounds good. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Oh no, they're plotting things. <laughs> it's it's not even that important. It's I think I know which thing you're plotting. <laughs> I mean a lot of things are being plotted. Actually a lot of things are being plotted. Mm -hmm. Not like in this current moment, but like in general. In general, there's a lot of stuff going down. Oh dear. Backstarge you. Oh, Good idea, oh, Kitty. Dear. Uh, oh, 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 chili. <sighs> What'd you end up yeah. getting for, for breakfast? Or dinner, I guess, in your case, right? Oh, yeah, it's like four. I got just kind of a snack of two bagels filled with cheese, aioli, and avocado. Mmm, avocado. Irv Curder. Irv Curders. Mm. <laughs> I was I was on board for the cheese part. You don't like avocados? I don't know actually. I don't know if I've ever had them. I must have had them at some point. No, oh, they're like it's just I don't know. It's like a creamy vegetable type. No, I've of thing. got to stay away from them so I can afford a house. <laughs> oh yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, avoid avocados, and you can you can get a foot on the property ladder, apparently. Or trade avocados for property. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, That's why I got lots. That's the, the the real winners here are the ones who are selling the avocado toast. They can afford <laughs> as many houses as they like. Probably. <laughs> avocados are better than houses. That's true. Although I would like to move sometime soon, find a bigger place. Because you've seen my place. It's Brimming with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the sort of place I'd like, but by now you probably want to move up a bit. Been here for... Four, five years? Mm. It's good to save up money, though. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah. like my place generally. Mm -hmm. It's nice, but it's like a townhouse type of thing. I think I, I want like your apartment, Josh, but not in a city. I want to like cut it out of the building and plonk it in, <laughs> in in that somewhere. Nice. Yeah, it's some small town, probably this town. Just just drop it on top of this. House. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. I want somewhere really easy to get to, so in the middle of a city, but not in the middle of a city where there's lots of fields around, because that's where I grew up. And it, I just want an, and great internet. That's very important. Internet. So it's, the internet is probably the hardest. I would place. live out in the middle of nowhere if my internet could be good. Because I, I prefer the country. I am not a. I hate the city, but, like all my work is here. Hmm. 
It's so. the thing. I, everything I do is entirely remote, so I can be remote. Yeah, that's the nice thing about. And I think there's YouTube. a reason that a lot of YouTubers are moving to Scotland right now. It's very cheap there. Is the internet actually mm -hmm. good I'm, I'm there? tempted. I think that's the main mm -hmm. issue. If you can, if you, there are places where it's good and then, and then you're good. Mm. As long as you find one of those. It's like, eh, Scotland wouldn't be too bad. It's not, like, not even that far away. Only two hours away, even though I've never been there in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. I've been to all sorts we of We have to plan Scotland. a trip to visit really Fuzzy. Lovely. I mm -hmm. didn't register that I'd never been to Scotland, but I'm this like, actually, episode yeah, four, right? Of VTM? Or South I have South? no idea. Yeah, I think, I think so. Four. Yeah. Schedule. My, 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 my clock of, of, of roll for episodes says it's number four. Oh, yeah. You got to figure out, or you got to make sure you're I would have to keep e. track e. For, the, for the episode supporters. Yeah, I was like, got to remind EE e. who the episode supporter is. Well, there isn't one today. Cause it's the end of the month, so they've, they've all been done already. Well, technically, uh, it's the beginning of the month, but you know. Oh, so for Vampire, mm -hmm. I don't know whether, because my character is American, should I use my American voice? Oh. Oh. Because it's well, not good. It. Do, do it. <laughs> let's hear it. Yeah. Well, it's the same. Spot, if, so. if anyone's watched my Vampire thing, it's the same one I use for the character Mika. So he sounds kind of like this, but the problem is. Technically, I maybe sound American, but where am I from? I don't know. Freedom. Hamburgers. <laughs> it works. It's okay. It's not as terrible as EE's initial <laughs> one was. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that's encouraging. Cause, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my the God. The character was great with the it accent. It was so bad. <laughs> I think I just got used to it after, like... So many episodes went on. Mm. But every time, I'm just like, no, you know. <laughs> People are trying to guess my age. This is fun. Oh. Ooh. Bentham is a baby. I, I'm, a, I'm a baby. He's a little babber. I'm He's old as fuck. <laughs> I didn't realize E.E. is so much younger than me, too. Oh. I don't. I don't know I'm, how I'm old the oldest, I think. Are. Other. Yeah, I think I'm the oldest roll for it person. But it's because everyone underestimates how old I am. Maybe you can tell now because I have no you makeup on. You might be on. the oldest like regular. I don't think you're the oldest person ever to have been on roll for it. No, no. No, I think. I don't that... know if I'm the old. Because hmm. like surely like Aaron was older. I don't know who Aaron is. Aaron Fitzgerald. Oh. You know who Aaron is. Oh, I think Aaron's. <laughs> you jammed for her for four weeks. I didn't know who you. I didn't know what you who you who you meant. <laughs> I thought you said Aaron. Aaron. Aaron might be older than me. Yeah. Uh. Not by. Definitely older than I me. I can actually like, look I think up. Oh. Maybe I don't want to be rude, but Fuzzy. Uh, I think Fuzzy's the same age as me. Fuzzy's around my age. She's not older than me. I don't think. Or she, okay. if she is, it's not by much. Oh, yeah. Aaron's older than me. Because Aaron's 45. So I'm not 45. <laughs> no. I, so one, I don't actually know how old you are, but I, for some reason, thought we were the same age. I don't. I think you're younger. I'm 27. Yeah, you're younger. You're, okay. ra you're more around uh, um, EE's age. EE's age, yeah. yeah. Thought, thought so because we yeah. went to university at a similar time. I I graduated Someone university in, in two thousand nine. Hmm. I graduated university in two thousand nine. Oh, okay. Yeah, if that helps. <laughs> well, you're not old. You are older. Yeah, I'm not old. Let's get this straight. I'm not old. <laughs> I'm just older than them. Is what? No, you're not old. You're ancient. I'm not ancient. I'm just older than them. But you're right. I was thinking like the core people who are normally on our stuff. I have told people on, on stream my age before, so some people might know. Hmm. Might remember. Oh, I'm not old, so no. But I'm older. <laughs> and that makes Bentham a baby. I'm but a baby. I'm, I'm, have I they guessed I right yet? I think I am the youngest role for it person. Have they mm -hmm. guessed... Right yet? 
Uh, someone's guessed me right in in the chat. You, yeah, I think you I might be. I think you might be younger it. than Magitek because Magitek is. Well, I'll wait till you say how old you are. <laughs> but I think she's like a year older than you, so not by much, like a couple months probably. Okay. Yeah, oh. she's a baby too. I I'll say I'm. I am twenty three. Okay, yeah, she's twenty four. It's it's a weird thing of once you're out of university, no one cares. Mm. No one cares how old you are. Yeah, it, yeah. It you're gonna... as soon as that happens. And I, I'm, I'm 32. Well, you're in uni. It's vitally important. Like there was this one guy who in uni who was like three years older than everyone else, and that was a major thing. Mm. But now it doesn't matter. I'm longing in here to remember how to spell your name, Josh. Your character's <laughs> name. <laughs> I'm making so this in my chat, oh yeah, I'm in my chat, it's like Josh is younger than me. He is younger than me. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Pardon me. I I have that's like the one thing I don't have control over on my stream. <laughs> what? <laughs> How old I am in comparison to everyone else. <laughs> oh, if if we count Rick, then I'm not the oldest. Oldest on, uh, I mean, a youngest even. I'm the youngest on camera per role for a person there. There you go. Hmm? You look oh. very confused, Josh. What? How old Rick? <laughs> uh, I don't know, younger, I guess. <laughs> I guess he's 22 or 21 or something. <laughs> Why don't you guess, Josh? I haven't met him, so I don't know 12. how old he looks. <laughs> He's 12. He's just been putting on a very Bentham good... Bentham is 23. Hmm. For those asking. Bentham is 7. <laughs> Someone said in chat. <laughs> without the beard, I might as well be. Yeah, I'm like, without the beard, he does look younger. Yep. So. That's, that's Honestly, the problem. Honestly, I was like 25, 26. I don't know whether to take that as a compliment. I'm going to go with compliment. <laughs> I always have to keep some facial hair, otherwise I baby face and I have to get asked for yeah, me too. ID it. I always have to keep a places. little bit of facial hair, you know. Mm. <laughs> Suits you. Thanks. The bushy mustache has really grown on me. And you. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It'd be weird if it didn't grow on me. <laughs> yeah, that's the weird bit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think I have all the social media scheduled. So I think chat was a yes for the American accent. Okay. I think you have to do it more to practice. Oh, okay. You should well, just I'll, talk I'll do the, the rest, rest of the stream in an American accent, shall we? Oh, no. Yeah, I've, I've been, been debating what, just, what voice I want to use for my for character, life. too. Mm hmm But, I mean, we're all, it's because we're from Chicago, right? Oh, you want to do the... You want to do the Chicago accent? I'm from Chicago, you Chicago. idiot. Wait, that's your accent? That's a Chicago accent? I, I'm from I am Boston, from Chicago, I? and I have never heard people talk like the way that... We were looking up <laughs> Chicago accents. I was like, that is not how anyone from Chicago <laughs> talks. I will let you know, because I'm from there. Because I'm thinking Boston. Yeah, that's you're thinking kind Boston. Because that's how Bubba sounds. No, that and and when, when we looked it up, it did sound like when we were looking up Chicago accents, like people teaching people Chicago accents, it did sound like Boston accents. I was like, that is not, I'm from there. No one talks like that. I feel like it must be a gangster film thing. It's a gangster film thing for sure. Because mm. like, mo like gangster mob stuff used to use that kind of like voice. I don't know. I don't know. Until it says 30 but still get ID'd buying energy drinks and petrol. So why do you need <laughs> but the thing ID? is, Josh, our characters are different. We're different generation type of thing. So we could have like old, older timey accents. Oh, yeah. So we could totally. keep, we could keep like point. the old English accent, like New England so you're style. Like, you're like old, more powerful vampires. Something like Not that. necessarily. You you think that I mean, I like guess, because you're older, you'd be way more powerful. Tied to to age, because some vampires, I guess, just sire people sooner. <laughs> so the thing with with VTM is, even if you're an older vampire, you get a lot of experience, but it's like it doesn't make that much of a difference because everything costs so much. So. Well, I think 
we were all excited we're like yay we get experience and then we like looked at it we're like oh this okay (laughs) yeah we're like cool i can do one thing yeah or maybe two things (laughs) yeah that are really not that helpful (laughs) you guys are getting a little bit of spoilers but yeah whatever it'll be fun you still don't know anything you know you don't know nothing Oh, but I, I got what? some super cool stuff, which obviously... If you're spoil, using a but... voice while sick, are you still going to be able to do it when you're well? Oh, good point. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I did have that problem once. I did a, a gnome who was like super squeaky and he had a slightly broken voice because my throat was shot. So he sounded... <laughs> that seems like the worst when... It was, it was probably not the smartest idea, <laughs> but it was fun and it sounded cool. So I just kept up with it. It didn't have to, I didn't have to say much. So I was doing this gnome and then I was well the next week and I was like, oh, I (laughs) can't really do this. (laughs) It just sounded like a kid. Which, that sounds like a gnome. Hmm. They're called previews, not spoilers. Rick's found some baby face pictures of me from early Roll for It. Oh. Yeah, Yeah, when I met you, you didn't have a beard. The, Even the, the in one the... expand isn't that early. It's the the Halloween special or the the newsletter after the Halloween special. Oh right? yeah, it's not. Yeah. What's it? What's it called? Your your little comedy um, outtakes thing, Maggie. Even oh, yeah. within that, like Bentham's face changes. <laughs> it's adorable. I'm gonna make a season two one whenever season two is over as well. Before season three that. starts, I'll do another one to hype up season three. Mm. That's so, gonna be fun. Yeah. It's the hard part is finding clips that are like short because we do a lot of long stints of funny. And so it's like, oh, I want to keep all these things in there. Um, but I think what we'll do is, well, we have to make mm. a small one for social because it has to be less than two minutes. So unfortunately, I know season three. Can you imagine? Oh, it's crazy. Thing is, if, if you go back to like episode uh, one of season one of Layla, we all look like babies. Aww. I feel like at this point. I had a mustache then. <laughs> <laughs> I stole it. You did. <laughs> I stole it. I mean, you still kind of have a mustache. It's just like trimmed. It's like a uh, uh, stubble. Yeah, it just looks trimmed. Yeah, that's awesome. Mine is stubble. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, we, we we can see all the the pointy stubbly bits. <laughs> the internet generation has more of a universal English American dialect. Oh yeah, I I'm slowly shifting to that. I was so much more northern a few years ago. Yeah. I feel like when I'm around people, I will take on the accents that they have. That's the thing you were saying, right? That's yeah. Anthem? Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's an a, actual that's thing. thing in psychology. Um, your accents will converge with those of people you like while you're talking to them. Aww. And if, and if you don't like them, your accent gets yeah. stronger. Yeah, your accent gets, if you don't like someone you're talking to and they have a different accent to you, your accent will get stronger. Oh, gosh. In, in like defense, uh, defiance, I don't know. Yeah, it's That's like, weird because yeah, you guys, try and understand when this. I met them, IRL, they were all like, you sound so much more American. I was like, oh. I, I think it's think, just like a mic quality, not, not I, quality, I think, but I think what it is, is tone thing. I think it's just that Maggie's outdoor voice is more American or something. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> My outdoor voice. Like, because when you're talking into a mic, you're going to be fairly quiet. You're going to be talking differently than when you're talking to someone outdoors. And I think that was what it was. Maybe. Because I don't have to like project, I suppose. Yeah, I, th- yeah, I, think, I, think I think it's when also when I'm it's, speaking it's in a American. microphone, I'm very accurate. Like I try to make sure that I'm saying things so people can understand me. Whereas yeah, when yeah, I'm that's... like just talking to people, I'm not like articulating things, right? Oh, Maybe I that's why that. I sound more proper. Yeah, there was a moment when when I when I said hi and you replied, I'm like that. That's not Maggie's voice, but that's Maggie though. What? Do I sound that different? But I, I, I got. 
Uh, not no, that it's different. No, it's still well, recognizably you. There. That's the thing. But to there's some something in the tone of your voice that I think is different. Maybe to be fair, the, the first time actually no, the second time I don't know, I don't know the first time, but the second time I met EE, which was when you were there, Josh. Yeah. And he he came round and, and said hi. I was like, oh my god, his voice is so deep. What? That's not <laughs> how he sounds. <laughs> And I think you might have mentioned something at some point about that as well. We were just both like, what? Yeah, yeah. But then it was normal after sounded, that. Like, you guys all fair. sounded pretty normal to me. Obviously, Bentham, the next day afterwards, your voice was really low because... Uh, <laughs> the next day when I was Batman. <laughs> you were Batman. Oh, it was funny because Batman thing? Mm. Uh, Bentham and I were sharing a microphone, so we were using this microphone. And uh, people were like, is it his mic quality? Has it changed? I mean, we did change microphones, but your voice was just like it lower. Was, it was, no, but you changed microphone to a Yeti, which is what I have. Yeah, that's true. This is the same thing. Although people always tell me that my, my Yeti sounds different. EIRL sounds like a Drox demon. Yeah. So what he does <laughs> he is he turns off the that, filter. No, he doesn't sound that different. <laughs> He doesn't sound that different. No, it was really my new thing, and I stopped noticing it after like the first thirty seconds. But from on, I'm like, "What? The, that voice is deeper than the voice I hear over the internet." What? Mm. Yeah, but that was probably again because different. it was more of an outdoor voice he was talking with. So there's. It didn't sound that different to me though. Yeah, it was only was for a moment, kinda... and then I forgot about it. But when he first said hi, I'm like, "What?" Oh, dude, we played that the X came X come board game, and it was really fun. Like, I want to play yeah? that game more. Oh. Yeah, it's actually challenging. Like I thought we were going to lose. Is it more fun than the Buffy board game? I didn't get to play the Buffy board game. We discussed possibly playing it, but then we ended up watching Stargate instead. <laughs> you dodged a bullet. Yeah. He was like, it's... "Oh, it." He's like, "Oh, it doesn't take that long." And I was like, "I was told it took an hour for you to set up." <laughs> Yeah, don't believe anything he says about how long a Buffy board game game takes. He's like, yeah, but now I know it. I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm Maybe not a fan of quicker, card building games. Oh, I like uh, card building I, games. I I like them sometimes. Like I played Dominion and that was neat, but playing the Buffy one is like the the different things the cards could do were just so. We definitely wacky. have to do it for when we do our IRL like yeah thing. I'm yeah. down for that. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> Josh and her Bentham's like I don't want to do it. I will submit I didn't, myself. I didn't like it. Yeah, you didn't like it. Torture. But it'll you'll be with people that you are that you enjoy company of. I was last time. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't there. I'll make it better. And everything would just seem very convoluted and difficult to put together with it to mm. me. Like it, it, the, the deck builder concept was fine, but then the <laughs> abilities that each card had were really wacky, and there were a lot of variables to deal with, and it stopped being fun. And then we accidentally XCOM picked the hardest. <laughs> Good to know. Buffy board X game God simulates the seven seasons and a movie. <laughs> yeah, that's the movie. Uh, it will be a three-hour feature film. Because that's how long it takes. <laughs> there you go. Well, let's think. All of our streams are always longer than a movie. Yeah. So if we were to make a movie, it would be like a 12-hour thing. What? Why would it be twelve hours? If we were doing a, a, a like the t tabletop RPG show equivalent of a movie, then oh. it would be three times an episode. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh God, that'd be really long. One day we'll do it, and then we'll never do it again. I think if we were gonna do a movie, we'd do like a one hour, but it'd be like an actual like you know acting out all the scenes and like proper movie it'd be fun i mean like an actually like filmed edited movie. yeah it would it would have to be scripted okay, yeah. yeah it would have to be scripted that's our musical that one cool. but if we did that'd a lap and just had like fly in the wall <laughs> cameras that would be a lot of work we could do that no you, you could do but... that yeah you could do a larp and then but you'd need somebody running the broadcast and like picking which cameras were being chosen Oh yeah, yeah. It would cost. Uh, you could probably do it with three cameras <laughs> because you could have one camera on. Actually, no. You would probably want a camera like, on every cast member. Just throw money at it. Yeah. You need a camera for everyone. You need so many cameras. It'd be a ca four cameras. See everyone four... with walking GoPros on their foreheads. <laughs> no, that would be too intrusive because it would just be. It would be weird. It, everyone would look weird. You just have four the, camera uh, people and then shots. one camera that is doing wide shot. 
Could make it work. Could make it happen. Oh, hey, sheep, sheep do. Oh, sheep dog's here. Yeah. Oh, hey, sheepy. Right? Sheepy. To cause mayhem and destruction, but again, he I'm said, keep do the scenes and hire an animator. Verse. Yeah, we have talked about animation stuff. That's a whole. Yeah, other... wasn't that a thing already? It was a thing, but uh, we decided to do a comic instead because uh, the animator that we were originally going to have was giving us a deal, and then uh, he couldn't do it, and then all the other animators are way too expensive. So the goal would not have. It, we would have to increase the amount of cost for the goal. Comics are cool, though. Comics are cool, though. Comic is also. Awesome. That's been very fun. Oh, yeah. We have the next edition Third of the issue comic. On, on the way. Yep. Is it still in the coloring phase at the moment? Uh, it's done today. Oh. I just got oh, it today. So I was going to. look at it in the meeting. Yeah, yeah. I was figuring we, well, we'd go over it tomorrow in our meeting. Excellent. Yes. Damn it. I won't, I won't get to see it until everyone else gets to see it. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> We've but you'll like it. The final draft first and stuff. Yeah, we have and to go through it to make it. sure that it's, yeah, it's good to go. But I think it should be launching <laughs> next week. That's cool. Yeah, probably. I have to look at our calendar. I think it's next week, right? Oh, I don't think we put it on here yet because we were waiting for it. Yeah, we, we didn't plan it. We did post the poster yeah. already, though. Because that was the August poster. Now we've got to work oh, on the seen that September yet. poster. Oh yeah, the poster's good. It's uh, it's the friendship is magic poster. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately like, for me, that was exactly the wrong time zone. So I didn't catch any of it. <laughs> the, the, the poster turned out really good. Uh, Elsa did a really good job. The thing that blows my mind is the background of that poster because it looked like for a minute I'm like, did did she just Photoshop in actual My Little Pony backgrounds? No, she re because that re looks she like recreated. everything I've seen. And I I did a comparison. I'm like, no, she drew that. That is perfect. What? She she originally had like the original stuff behind there as like a hey, does this look right? And then she redid all the art. She did a really yeah, good job. Yeah, and it looks perfect. And then also the giant nightmare worm monstrosity creature. Yeah, when I sent it to her, I was like, so this is the idea I have, and this is going to be a little weird because you have to make this creepy thing, but in a cutesy world. But I think she did an amazing job. Yep. It's and perfect. I don't think people realized how big those worms were. I'm Whoa. like, they're huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I described it. But look at the background, though. That is what the show looks like. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah, she did a really good job. That's really cool. Hey, Cloud. What's EE? -E? What's EO? Oh, EE -E is um, Enter Elysium. Sorry. We're, we're not playing Stardew Valley right now. <laughs> I got to change my title. Yeah, I'm I'm chatting I'm with. Mine's Impromptu Roll for a Podcast. I just showed Impromptu Podcast in front of the title. Gaming FTL. In fact, it says impromptu food podcast right now. I'm going to get rid of the food part because we're not doing that. No, anymore. I've already eaten. Oh, I so want it's food. All good. I want to go make food. Go make food and then come eat it with us. <laughs> you can hang out. It's going to we'll take me a while, though. We'll cover all the bases via an eating stream. It will, it will take me time. Hey, I, I took some time out. That's true. That's true. We entertained your people. It's only oh, fair that you entertain mine. The problem is I'm going to take longer because I'm going to make eggs and bacon. So it's going to take time. Mm. But maybe it won't take that long. I don't know. It. Take the camera with you. Take the camera. <laughs> Cooking stream. I guess I could actually stream on my phone. But that's like. Or, or you could do yes, some American real Yes, American bacon. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Let's not have this conversation yeah, again. Not real bacon. It's bacon. It's <laughs> your bacon is ham, and our bacon is like pork belly. Our bacon is delicious. I've, I have. I can now say that right. because I've eaten a lot of bacon, like a lot of bacon. I came to the like the the first day I was in the UK. Um, I came to the uh, like the kitchen where they like they have. They have, like, free breakfast or whatever, but I came, like, just a minute late as they're cleaning things up. Actually, I think it still had five minutes, but they were already cleaning things up, and the guy was like, would you like a plate of something? Like, he was still being very nice and uh, offering me some food. I was like, um, I mean, if you're offering, yes. 
And he's like, well, would you like? And I was like, eggs and bacon. And so he like gives me, he gets me a plate of eggs and bacon. And it was like five eggs and like a fucking pile of bacon. I was like, I, this is a lot of food, but okay. I will try my best. It was a lot. I ate it all. (laughs) <laughs> but then go then. He, he knew to give you the exact right amount of food it was too much though at the end I was like oh I shouldn't have eaten all that well did you eat I seem to remember you eating a lot when we went for uh, fish and chips I mean I ate my fish and my chips I don't know if I ate all that of it sense. though because that was a big fish yeah might, it was huge I, I, I think that's probably all, what I, I remember, remember. But I think that's I all I had. That every meal that we had, I kept not finishing it because I, my stomach is so tiny. I think I ate it all. Julianne definitely ate all her food. Mm. Yeah. I had I had fish and chips. I've got I got Sunday <laughs> roast. I got <laughs> an Amy afternoon Hoyle tea. Says, and Amy I got says they were trying bacon. to make Maggie grow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't think that would work. <laughs> There, but see, the problem is I won't grow taller. I'll just grow fatter. <laughs> Which <laughs> is already a problem. Mass, that's fine. <laughs> My metabolism is very slow now. So I'm like, oh. I'm, I'm so happy with my metabolism. I eat so I'm jealous of you and Bentham. I don't know if I have a good metabolism or I just don't have enough capacity for food. Also, there <laughs> might be something in apples that keeps Bentham... <laughs> oh yeah Bentham, my Bentham god he he drank through like two how boxes many pounds of apple, of apple juice, juice do you drink a day lots <laughs> how many like a, a how many jugs do you go through a week it's not actually that much i think i, I drank more apple juice while i was with you guys you're like a what? hummingbird it's like <laughs> hummingbird nectar I, I just live off apples, apparently. <laughs> you do. It's all we know about you. Maybe a pie now and again, but it's only apples. This is it. You and can then... tell that I drink so much apple juice because in staying with them for two days, it became a joke, a running <laughs> joke that I always have apple juice. And then when you we do. got him a non-alcoholic drink, it was a pineapple drink. Hmm. <laughs> with so much ice cream in it. Holy crap. That was good. <laughs> It was really sweet. I'm like, I just want like some sort of mix of fruit juices, and it's like this also comes with ice cream. So like, okay, fine, I'm getting it. It's like this is like flavored ice cream in a glass. I, I think it's like a smoothie. So is much. what you got? You got like a smoothie. Basically. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm gonna go make the make the breakfast. Entertain the mm-hmm. peoples. Okay, will do. All right. Hi, Maggie's stream. I'm playing <laughs> video games on mine because. <laughs> I, I really, I'm just really on want the, to play the more. Impromptu of this. podcast stream uh, screen. Yeah. Someone points out that it's not that impromptu if I systematically do them every stream, but I never know <laughs> if it's going to happen. Yeah. Sometimes people are, are busy with other stuff. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah. And who, who's in it is a complete uh, crapshoot every time. Hmm. Oh, is is Maggie saying ow? Did you did you are you in pain? I think you're uh, in pain. No. She's ill and an invalid now. Ah, I pressed I the ran over my, my toe. Oh, oh no! Uh oh. Not fun. I just realized my microphone doesn't have a filter on it, so it's been picking up like everything, and no one has said oh, so, anything so they, about so it. They, they all heard the crunch of the toe then. No, no, they've just been <laughs> hearing like an echo, pretty much probably. It should be oh. better now. Apple King Benham. Oh, it's probably way better now. You guys, why didn't you tell me my audio was shit? <laughs> because uh, they don't know they don't have that that content creator ear yep we are pro at- it's a gen yeah, it's a genuine thing of of we we can detect when there's weird audio stuff more than people normally can because we're so it, yeah because we have like our own standards for for yeah quality stuff like so many times they didn't, I've they didn't notice and like pointed out to the streamer that something's wrong with their mic that no one else has noticed and they're like oh yeah you're right that's wrong what's weird is that everything's where, where fine Amec but josh guessing. you it picks up your voice me what yeah. picks up my voice my microphone oh cool is is josh's voice lower pitch than me or something yeah or is he just a bit louder 
Uh, you, I, it could be both because I am both loud and low. <laughs> no one and noticed, apparently. No. Yeah, see, I got rid of all the background noise. I don't know. No one told me. Yeah, there was there was one time where Avak was guesting on a different RPG show and I was watching. I'm like, Avak, what mic are you using right now? And he's like, oh, crap, I was on my headset mic and not my Yeti or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. And no one else had noticed, and everyone in the, in the show was like, oh, I, I just assumed that was your mic. Because <laughs> the thing is, as long as people can hear you and it's not, like, too much noise, no one really cares. Yeah, but it's the like, problems like people start... normally just tune it out, but we're, like, watching for it. Yeah. We're watching for any I think issue. this should be better now. Like, it shouldn't be picking up Josh's voice now. Good! No. Nope. No one Still wants to hear up. that shit. There was another time in an Avex stream where he was playing a game where the game volume was really loud, and he got to a fight, and I, like the the <laughs> fight music was really loud, and I'm like, I can barely hear him, but nobody was saying anything in the chat. I'm like, why is nobody pointing this out? So I pointed it out, and then everyone was like, oh yeah, the music's really loud. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. I, I don't know why it is. Maybe it's just a force of habit. I constantly change audio levels for various in and out of game things but at the beginning of every one of my streams i have to check that my audio isn't appalling because my chat pointed out they're very good they're learning yeah no i i've i usually do the same thing i'm like hey is my audio good but we were like in the middle of the show or like we started you know doing this podcasty thing which is different i I don't know why but it keeps picking up your voice josh cool double me Double me! You gotta go with the headset. I don't even know how people do audio setups where they have speakers involved. I have speakers. And I have a headset. How though? How do you do that? I don't how does the mic not pick it up? What magic have you have you done? You just do uh like a noise filter or noise gate so like it doesn't pick it up. But the noise what? gates are so difficult. And then you cause... make it so that it, you know your mic only picks up stuff in a directional <laughs> Format. I still I don't get how it can be good enough though. I don't get how there's not. I I've been doing it forever, so. Sound bleeding. I mean, I, yeah, I guess you're just like super experienced in making that work. But I'm just like I gotta have a headset. I can't I can't make an audio setup work if I'm not wearing a headset. I don't even like how I sound with a headset off because I'm used to this. Like, I just if, don't like, know why it's picking I up, finish, Josh. Like I need to like scratch my ear and I lift up up the, the headset to scratch my ear it messes with me because i can hear myself in a weird way that i'm not used to okay hmm. i'm gonna go, i'm gonna go make breakfast <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah like, in, i just yourself, noticed that it was picking up it was like picking up your guys's voices twice i was like why is it doing that feed yourself no because you ill take care <laughs> self-care yeah everything has to be a battle royale right now rick that's how it works mm-hmm. i kind of wish they'd um kept up with their non with with their single player games mm. and everyone trying to imitate stalker at the moment is making really bad games it's a shame <laughs> The thing is right now, that well, that's the thing is with, with games all the time, is that someone comes up with this perfect formula and everyone copies it and it's like, do, has no one had the thought that maybe they should try coming up with the next perfect formula so they actually make money? That's the thing, because by the time you release your version of the hot thing, it's yeah. either not hot or Fortnite has taken over. <laughs> and the thing is... The uh, Battle Royale has been on the table for years. Hunger Games came out and nobody made a a good Battle Royale game. Mm. It was there for the taking and nobody saw it. And some people... That's the thing. It was uh, an armor mod for so long. It was awesome. So many people were like, oh, I want a proper Hunger Games game. And nobody made it. And now someone finally made a good version of it and was like, oh, we got to get on that. (laughs) It was up there for the taking by any company that could have it, and nobody thought to actually give it a go until someone else proved that it would work, by which point it's too late. Mm. I do like that, that there are variations like underwater well, yeah, battle it's royale. Now, it's now nice that there's so many battle royales. Mm. I can't complain too much that there are that many of them. But also it's like, damn it, could we not have had some sooner? There are, oh God, there are so many games Valve has made two of and no more. Mm-hmm. We got Half Life, we got Portal, we got. Uh, I forgot what TF stands for. 
Team Fortress, there we go. We've yep, got TF2, yeah, TF2, Portal 2, There's four different Half-Life ones 2. There. Um, be honest. They even I cheated mean, with Half-Life. They just kept making more Half-Life games that weren't three. Mm. See, oh, Left man. for Dead number four will be Left for Dead one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you like could... Battlefield 1. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Of yeah, course. you could Resident Evil it, or you know where they the new reboot is just called Tomb Raider. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the it's the Xbox One. Oh, that was the worst, worst idea for a name. I, I like Xbox One X though, because then everyone's like, "But there's two X's." <laughs> they were hoping it was a not. Is it a palindrome where you can say it forwards and backwards? <laughs> Close. They were trying. Maybe that was the next step to become a palindrome. Hmm. There are so many games I want to play on stream. The thing is, oh yeah, there are. I'm, How often I, do you stream? Um, I'm trying to do two a week. Well, actually, it's three a week if you include Stardew. Hmm. Yeah, because I was doing two a week. Then I started Stardew, and now I want to do like five a week. <laughs> okay. I've done four this week because I'm. I need to make up for both lost time and time I'm going to lose because I'm away next week again. Yeah, but this time there's no one in London to visit. Aww. I'm not coming to London. Just, I'll just be doing work. <laughs> endless, endless. In the big work. city. It's not even in London. It's in a neighbouring city to London. That's close-ish. Oh, okay. I don't know whether that's better or worse. Either way, it's just going between a place to crash and a place to work for four days. And for half of those weeks, I'm needed. It's Riggs! Hi, Riggs! Hello, Riggs. Okay, oh, Riggs. He is cute. Presumably that's Riggs, unless it's the other cat, because apparently they're looking at him. <laughs> the I don't know, but it looked like Riggs. Argo Blog doesn't that. help, sheepdog. I'll I'll get this work done and then I'll be free again. You you could have uh P J S. PJs. You could have PJs. PJs works. I want to stream more. You could have PJs. There you go. And he can even stream it on Twitch instead of me recording and uploading in post. <laughs> exactly. Years after the recording happens. Yeah, all all of my uh, YouTube, uh, all of my Twitch streams always get uploaded to my VOD channel, which is great. Got a fancy proper system. There's food. What's the food? Woo, food. What'd you get? I have eggs and bacon. Mm. There we go. And Some a eggs glass of, eggs and sorts of bacon. pineapple grape orange juice. Close enough. That'll work. That sounds <laughs> delicious. Mm -hmm. I'm so jealous. Food hype. Oh, I want I'm so excited to eat this. <laughs> also, I set the there. fire alarm thing off. <laughs> oh, dear. Should have left your mic on. Oh, yeah, that. I wish we had the mic so we could hear that. <laughs> you just hear fire alarm going off. And the thing is, I'm not tall enough to reach it. <laughs> To turn it off. Oh, no. So I had, had to rigs. run in the room and go, Brian, help. <laughs> he's like asleep and he's like, what the fuck? That's when the cat's awake. The cat's like, what happened? <laughs> so we, do we, are, you, we, are you sitting another cat or is that done now? Was that just while? Oh, uh, uh, I still have wait. the other cat. I don't know where she is Maggie right now. Bacon. Yeah. How, how are they interacting the two cats? Because they've now been with each other for a few weeks, right? They're like tolerating of each other. I think Mishka <laughs> wants to be friends. But Riggs is like, I'm the king of the house. This is my house. Riggs, like, don't I even think to, about I, eating I Samson. To... Riggs, no. <laughs> no. Hey. Oh, I'll see him in the corner. Hey. I see you, cat. <laughs> 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 He's trying to eat the plant. I don't know why. He wants to eat it. Rick's it's not like, going to hurt him. I will not him obey. You have brought an invader into my home and I will rebel. <laughs> Samson will pay the price. Yeah, I like <laughs> to imagine cats as being like disgruntled noblemen. 
I do too. I feel like Riggs is definitely a disgruntled, like, old gentleman. (laughs) He seems like he'd be a proper cat. Lauren's cat. Because Lauren's cat just is like, just nopes most things. Like, refuses to enter the streaming room because, like, I think what it is is that because Lauren's talking to seemingly the wall, (laughs) it's like, there are people here, but I can't see them. I don't understand. And stays out of that room, apparently, at all times. Weird. That's really funny. And Lauren can never bring um, She's like, Rexy onto, the, onto the camera. That's where the humans do weird because stuff. This, yeah, because whenever Lauren tries to carry uh, Rexy to the camera, she always jumps out of her arms before she gets into shot, so we never see the cat. Aww. I, 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 imagine, imagine. I like to imagine that some cats up. are camera shy. Hmm. Yeah, it, it seems like it, which is weird, because how does a cat know what a camera is? I don't and know. And also, surely the cat knows that their entire purpose on this earth is to make funny videos. I like having okay. I like having rabbits, because they, they're easy to look after, and also I like to imagine how they think, which is very different from cats, actually. I, I have... I've seen people who, like, let their rabbits out, like, in their house, like, like a normal house pet. Yeah, we don't I've... do that. We haven't trained them well enough to, to poop in the right places. One of my friends has an adorable, big, floofy, grey rabbit called Wizard, Aww. and it um, oh. it is a house rabbit. It just lives. Does it have like a free. cat box, like a cat litter box? No, no. It uh, mm. it has a cage that it goes back into, but it's quite well trained and it's adorable. Um, oh, he's getting quite old now, though. I kn- I know that situation. I used to have six rabbits, I have two now. But they've lived very long, happy lives. They're all getting to like 10 years old and stuff, which is like, if they get to that, to that age, you know, you've done well. Are you breeding them or do you have them as pets? Uh, we tried to breed them and it actually didn't work. Okay. Okay. There's you more know sad how sto- that... There's actually so there's a lot of sad stories related to my rabbits and I feel like I shouldn't go into them all because it's going to be really upsetting, but uh, oh. we, we tried and failed to breed rabbits. So we've just kept the one the ones we have and stopped trying. Fair enough. Or, or it's a new breed. Uh, the genetic diversity needs some work. They're, they're mini lion lops, which is a bit too many different things at once so far. It's quite funny, actually, because we, we have some purebred mini lion lops, and we've taken them to shows, and then they're like rabbit purists who tell us off because they're not really... they're, they're not a true breed. Like, well, that's a mix of mini lion and lop. That doesn't count. Oh, do you do like rap? Do you like do fairs, like shows? Uh, We used to, yeah. But I think we actually stopped partly because there were so many like terrible people there who were like horrible to their rabbits and told us that our rabbits don't count as as proper rabbits or whatever. That's that sounds like as bad as the people who are uh, who uh, do pedigree. Dog breeding, because mm. like, yeah, well, it's the some same, dogs like, are getting proper messed up because yeah, they're some, so some people purely are bred. Be far too serious and and cruel about how they they look after them. Like, because one of the things is when you when you go to a rabbit show, they there's a the point where the, the judges look at the rabbits. You sit them on the table, and the rabbit is supposed to sit there without moving, just looking at the judge while the judge like checks their fur and their paws and their teeth and stuff. I think I don't really know mm-hmm. what they go into. But the like the rabbit is has to sit there, so you have to train it to sit there. And there are nice ways of doing that, like sitting it there and petting it if it stays in place, or giving it food if it stays in place. One guy, we went to a show, had this tiny little uh, dwarf bunny. Um, I don't know what particular kind it was, but it was Aww. one of those like really really tiny cute ones with short hair. And he would sit it on the table, and if it moved, he would pick it up by the ears and put it back in place. The fuck not okay and while he was That's doing this fun. he was telling us about how our rabbits don't count as a proper breed oh yeah and it's like well you're an asshole that see ya <laughs> and we left there should definitely be like police hanging around animal shows like i've i've heard some really horrific stories yeah that, that's what he was doing every time it moved he picked it up and put it back down so it stopped moving that's horrendous. People are the worst. You'd think that the oh, judge would be like, don't do that. 
I, I yeah. guess they have regulations against certain things, but there, there's always loopholes that people use mm. and like techniques that people. One nice thing was that our rabbits kept winning because it being a new breed, the category was tiny. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> and like the, there were true. one or two times where we submitted to the mini lion lop category and we were the only rabbit submitted. We're like, yeah, we win. <laughs> we did it. You have the most adorable hey, and certifiably and so you. rabbits. Exactly. We've got a lot of like little certificates and ribbons and stuff. <laughs> but there was mm. one fun time Breakfast where so uh, we went to like a really tiny local one in like a church somewhere. And it was like a really old fashioned, like a uh, pokey little village. And so they were, they, one of the things they do is weigh the rabbits because there's like weight categories, I think. And so to weigh a rabbit, he had one of those ancient like metal scales, which was like two two panels on and then like a scale under it with a indicatory thing and then like the giant weights and you'd plonk the weights on to make it tip and then you'd weigh the rabbit by seeing the point where it tipped and how many weights were on it like the proper old-fashioned weight style and so we put the rabbit on and it's like okay let's check the weight so plonk one on dunk okay too much off dunk smaller one <laughs> another one dunk dunk and i'm like this rabbit is not going to be happy about it. <laughs> like, the ground keeps moving up and down what's happening and so the rabbit, which is called Treacle, was like, okay, I'm leaving this situation. It is time to escape. What are my options? I'm high up. It's too far down. Uh, there is Mother. I must go to Mother. She will protect me. Mother is too far away to jump. But Bentham is right there. <laughs> so, he came up, so he came up with this parkour plan. He's like, okay, here we go. And he jumped onto me, just onto the front of me. I'm like, oh, there's a rabbit on me now. Hi there. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, okay, now I'm close enough. And leapt from me to my mum. <laughs> it was like, now I am safe. I did it. I have escaped. Like, <laughs> that just happened. Are they quite smart? I don't know. It's it's hard to say. I mean, I guess it depends what... You can what teach you rabbits to do stuff. Because my friend who... She had her pet rabbit like, a norm, like any other pet. Like she just had like a cat litter box. And then the rabbit never went in a cage. Like it just... Hmm. It, went around and it had like a little bed that it slept on and uh yeah, you can, you she can could teach it tricks tra she taught it how to like jump high five and like stuff like that oh yeah we've got like 20 minutes before we have to hop yeah, yeah, in a call yeah. and oh, get shit. Yeah, i gotta ready. go get vampired up <gasps> bye guys mm. uh -oh, i'm gonna okay, do it on go. camera Why oh, not? You're, gonna, you're gonna do it on camera i am not because i have to do a whole bunch <laughs> of stuff and it's in another room so that's just not gonna work should right. i no, because I have to get dressed for it. So uh, no, no nipples on Twitch. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. See ya.